Hello and welcome to Linux Saints YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about the three dimensional arrays in the C programming language. So we have already talked about arrays and two dimensional arrays but three dimensional arrays are a little bit more complicated. So if you want to visualize a three dimensional array then you would have to think of a cube because a cube can be visualized as a collection of two dimensional arrays. So that what 3D arrays are. According to definition a 3D array is a collection of 2D arrays. It is specified by using three subscripts, block size, row size and column size. So how do you initialize or declare three dimensional arrays? Well, there are multiple ways of doing so. So if you look at our code over here, we have a standard definition of arrays like this, two dimensional arrays like this and three dimensional arrays would take up three square brackets like this. The first square bracket contains the block size or we can even say that the number of 2D arrays this 3D array is going to have. The next square bracket contains the number of rows and the last square bracket contains the number of columns. So this is one way of declaring an array. Another way of declaring an array is and then you can simply use an assignment operator and then assign it an empty array. Now you use this kind of declaration if you want to take inputs from the user. Another way of declaring arrays or 3D arrays is like this. So you need to put in some values and the way this works is that you first put in the values of a particular row. So we know that we have two rows and each row has two columns. So I can simply use like one, two, that would be my first row of my first 2D array, then two and three. Now these four values make up the first 2D array in our 3D array. Now we need to fill up the second 2D array. So for that I'm going to use the values four and five. This is the first row of the second array then 6 and 7. Now this is like the second row of the second array. And if I had something like 3 for the block size, then I would have to enter another array or another 2D array like 8 and 9, 10 and 11. So the last way of declaring 3D arrays is a little more complicated. So let's assume we have a 3D array consisting of 3 blocks, 3 row size and 3 column size. So the first thing we do is we separate the outermost curly braces. And then each row is going to contain an entire 2D array. And within an entire 2D array, each member of curly braces is going to contain an entire row. For example, we have this. So this is the first row of the first 2D array. Separated by a column, enter another pair of curly brackets and type in the values of the second row. Separate this row, enter another pair of curly brackets, type in the values of the third row. Similarly, you need to fill out the other 2D arrays as well. And just like that, we have a 3D array consisting of 3 blocks, 3 rows and 3 columns. Now how do you traverse through this 3D array? Well we know that to traverse through a 2D array, we use a nested loop. So for 3D arrays, we use a double nested loop. So we have the outermost loop. Now this outermost loop is used to iterate through blocks. And inside here, we have another loop which is going to be iterating through rows. And then we have the innermost loop which is going to be iterating through the columns. And since we are working with arrays, we need to change the initial value to 0. Now if I run this code, I get my 3D array. Now as you can see, this isn't exactly like a cube. That is because we cannot display 3D objects on our 2D terminal. So that is why each individual 2D array is separated by a new line. So this is the first block of this 3D array. This is the second block of this 3D array. And this is the third block of this 3D array. And each individual block is a 2D array in itself. Anyways, that was 3D arrays in the C programming language.